Hi everyone, my name is Chloe Milhauser, and I am a graduate student who studies art history at UC Riverside. Today, I am very excited to talk to you about one of my favorite artistic mediums, collage. Specifically, I want to talk to you about both the history of collage and about how artists can use collage to give images new meanings. So what is a collage, you might ask? Collage is an art form that involves an artist taking parts of pre-made materials and reassembling them into a new artwork. Artists use a wide variety of pre-made materials when they make collages, including images from newspapers, magazines, and photographs. If you look to the right, you'll see a collage by an artist named Pablo Picasso. This collage contains newspaper clippings, sheet music, a drawing, and more. What does the word collage mean, though? The word collage actually comes from the French word coller, which means to glue. The word was invented in the early 1900s when the artists George Brock and Pablo Picasso began gluing materials like wallpaper and cabinet lining into their artworks. But artists began making collages long before the word collage was invented in the 1900s. In fact, artists began making collages right after Chinese craftsmen invented paper in 105 AD. These artists, who lived across both Asia and Europe, used paper to make new and experimental art. For example, notice how the artist who made this print of St. Dorothea decorated the trees, border, and St. Dorothea's dress with tinsel and crystals. Collage became an especially popular medium during the modern art period, which began in the late 1800s and ended in the early 1900s. Artists working during this time made very experimental artworks, often using artistic techniques that were less traditional than painting and sculpture. They especially loved making collages, which they found to be very experimental. The very first modern art collages were made by the artists Pablo Picasso and George Brock, who were part of an artistic group called the Cubists. They made these first collages, which you can see on the right, in 1912. Take a look at their collages. Can you tell where they glued in new materials? Soon after the Cubists made their first collages, another group of modern artists in Germany, who were known as the Dadaists, began making collages that made statements about politics and society. In the collage to the right, artist Raoul Hausmann glued a machine part over the man's head in order to say that people in modern society had become too reliant on factories. The Dadaists called these collages photomontages because they made them using mainly photographs. In France, a group of modern artists known as the Surrealists use collage to represent the inner workings of the human mind. Their collages often show groups of people in funny, dreamlike situations, like this Max Ernst collage on the right. Take a closer look at this collage. How many people do you see in the collage? How many animals do you see in the collage? Can you make a story about what is happening in the collage? Now I want to talk about something that makes collage a very unique artistic medium. When an artist combines images in a collage, they make a new artwork that often has a different meaning than any of the original images. That is, they make a totally new meaning out of images that already have meaning. Let's take a look at the collage to the right. Do you recognize any of the images or symbols that the artist Hannah Hook has included in her collage? 
Do you think that she has changed the meanings of the images or symbols by combining them into a collage? What do you think she meant for the collage to say? Let's take a moment to think about all the things we learned about collage today. First, we learned that collage is an artistic medium in which an artist uses pre-made materials to make a new artwork. Second, we learned that the word collage was invented in the early 1900s and comes from the French word coller, which means to glue. But we also learned that artists around the world have been making collages for thousands of years. We then learned that collage became very popular during the modern art time period, which began in the late 1800s and ended in the early 1900s. Some modern art groups who frequently made collages were the Cubists, the Dadaists, and the Surrealists. We finished by discussing how, by making a collage, the artist often changes the meaning of the original images used, creating instead a totally new artwork with a new meaning. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video.